This is the Wise Quick and Warframe, and today a build on the Vakor Hack, a weapon you can purchase from the Syndicate Steel Meridian for 125,000 points. So, the first build, ladies and gentlemen, is a radiation and viral build. And as you can see on the left, this weapon has already a lot of puncture damage. Great against armored enemies. So we put some radiation and viral on top of that puncture damage. And here we are with our first build. With Hell's Chamber, we get the multi-shots. And with point blank, some extra damage. And Seeking Force for the punch through. And that will be handy against large groups of enemies. When we compare this to a hack with three Formas installs, we see that there is not a lot of difference. First of all, the Vakor hack has a lot of status chance and a lot of critical chance, which the hack does not have. Of course, because of the three formas, we get a little bit more damage, but not that much. And the Vakor hack has no formas whatsoever. So here we are doing a Tower 4 interception mission and you can see the justice innate justice effect right there and the whole lot of damage can you see the three procs what beautiful damage this weapon can do and again with no formas installed ladies and gentlemen this weapon is just a flipping cannon in your hand and it can stop anything and can you can you imagine how much damage this weapon can do with some formas installed? This would be flipping amazing. And there you can see the justice effect again, killing some enemies surrounding me. And here we are at a corrosive end. A little bit of puncture damage build. Hell's Chamber for the multi shots. Point blank for some extra damage. And of course, electricity and toxin damage for the corrosive damage. And I thought, let's get a tactical pump mod for some fast reload speed. And now again, if we compare this to the heck with the three formas installed, the corrosive damage is a lot higher for the Vagor heck. But. Of course, because the hack has a little bit of heat damage. But again, it isn't that much of a difference for a hack with three formas and a hack with no formas. So again, the Vagor hack, I think, wins. Another reason why the Vagor hack is a bit stronger than the normal hack is because of the magazine capacity. It is twice as big. So now it's time to fight some Grenier at Draco as usual. So here we go, let's kill them all! With the justice effect, you do a AoE radio attack dealing 1000 blast damage and staggering enemies. Also you will restore some of your health and provide a base armor boost.
So the third build is a special one because this one is a puncture and magnetic damage build. And it's special because it is great against robotics. And when I say great, I say flipping great. Of course, we have the mods with a lot of puncture damage. Hell's Chamber, of course, point blank for extra damage. And, of course, uh, cold damage and electricity damage for the magnetic damage. Accelerated Blast for some extra fire rate and even more puncture damage. We can see here that the Ambulus is no match for the Vaker Hex. And that's why he dies so quickly. Now the Raptor is always a bastard to kill. But no longer with the Vaker Hex. You just have to shoot him maybe... Seven times? Eight times? I don't know. But he dies pretty quickly. Let's see. What a finisher, ladies and gentlemen. A finisher of a true pro. Target down. Assassination contract complete. Great work, Tenno. If you think that was it, you are dead wrong, ladies and gentlemen. Because there is one more. And it is a critical chance and puncture damage build. And, of course, the critical chance isn't that high. It is 60%, so it is pretty high and it is pretty high because this weapon has a high critical chance on its own so we have blunderbuzz and critical deceleration for a higher critical chance and this time we have tainted shell equipped to see how this weapon works with some extra spread And for this test, we fight the Forret. And as you can see, the Forret is no match for the Vaker Hack. So everybody, get this weapon. I hope you enjoyed it. And check me out in all my other videos. And I hope to see you there. And until then, adios. With this build, I went all out with the impact damage. With full contact and disruptor. With tactical pump, you reload faster. With shotgun spaz and frill momentum, you get a flipping high fire rate. With vicious spread, of course, we have some more damage and the spread. And with point blank, even more damage. And of course, the multi shots with Hell's Chamber. Well, on this part, you will see that the damage isn't very high. But as you can see, the fire rate is insane. And the reload speed as well. So it is.